Maddie and Jimmy. All right, and welcome back to the Maddie and Jimmy live stream show. Now, we have absolutely loved watching you two build over the last few weeks. We have seen epic roller coaster islands to Viking battle blow ups. We've had yep. Rapunzel Towers, floating cities, shaking office buildings, awesome artworks, and a Lego Game Boy that even got Kale excited. That's mm. right, guys. We are Ooh. so sad to see you guys leave on Sunday um, and again on Monday, which we'll soon get to, Jimmy. Um, but thank you so much for coming back to the Maddie and Jimmy show. Jay and Starney, how are we? Yay. Good. Thank you for having us. Amazing. Fantastic. Guys. Yeah, hi. <laughs> guys, oh, man. The last time we saw you, you know, it was uh, the Sunday morning before the first episode and you've been through so much. So much. And then, unfortunately, you yep. got, you know, eliminated uh, for what was technically an amazing oh, build. But then you guys got pulled back for a for another challenge how did that feel was that did that just come out of nowhere for you yeah absolutely it came out of nowhere we had no idea um for the whole uh time the whole night we were eliminated we had no idea we were coming back till the next day so wow. yeah it was a huge surprise for us <laughs> That would have been crazy to kind of have that feeling of okay I've, I've you know mentally prepared to go home hang on i'm still building that's crazy yeah I think it was uh, the drive back to the studio. I think the guy in the car sort of accidentally mentioned something. We sort of, um, and when we got to the studio, they walked us into the interview room and then uh, the colour of the back wall was different, which we noticed. So we thought, oh, what's going on here? What's so, happening here? Ah, detective, wow. detective Starney on the case. <laughs> totally, totally. Sort of. <laughs> Now, the challenge that you guys were brought back for was this real-life uh, replica. So you had to basically copy oh. a real-life object. You guys got the Game Boy. Epic. Respect. Um, love it. Have you ever built yes. a real-life um, object before? Yes, I have. Um, it would have been a long time ago, but probably one of my favourite builds in my youth was a friend of mine and myself, not Stania, but uh, another friend. We built an electric guitar together. Whoa! We tried to go as full scale as possible. It was very thin, so it wasn't. We didn't fill out the body of the guitar, but we got most of the way there. And, that is. And cool. how does an electric guitar made out of Lego sound? <laughs> very plasticky. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Stani? No, I don't say. I don't think I have. I think I made the closest thing is probably a teapot. Once, but, uh, a gift, a gift to our ex girlfriend. The Game Boy was phenomenal, though, Jimmy. Yeah. Like the game even fitting yeah. in the back. I have to admit, I did get one of those Game Boys. I think for like my tenth birthday with Mario <laughs> Brothers and Tetris uh, on it. Nice. Um, I I am old, so I used to play on the uh, Nintendo Entertainment System. In fact, I have a controller. I don't know if you can see that tattooed to my he arm. does he's oh, wow. nice. uh, so you know you've made so much like we before this interview were thinking about you know writing the questions and, and thinking about all the things you guys have built you guys have built so much stuff so over much. you know the last couple of weeks is is there a favorite that sticks out for for you two i think it's the planetoid for me i like the uh, the miniature style we did because that was the first time we did it Amazing. and uh the way it just floated and having this whole sort of earth underneath it's just amazing yeah i think that one that one obviously was very close to my heart because it was a design that we uh that i'd come up with over the years and i've drawn a few times but um yeah that one there was so many fun technical things to build in that so from the geodesic dome to just all the micro um detail at the top we got so into the fun side of it on that yeah. one just once we started building that city we were just like smashing out little micro buildings, little micro trucks and little micro creatures and sewer pipes. And it, yeah, it really just the monorail. was so fun. Oh, oh. Yeah, the yeah, yeah. monorail. We put, um, <laughs> we actually had light kits and power in a bunch of the buildings. So they were all lit up. Wow. That's oh, so it cool. was yeah. beautiful. Yeah, pretty cool. I did. And I have to admit, I love that hanging build. I wouldn't mind that one, um, you know, in our house, actually, guys. So yeah. if you have it floating around, let us know. And just, <laughs> just, just hanging over there. Yeah. <laughs> and, and just having the excuse to say words like geodesic dome is pretty exciting, <laughs> I think. It's pretty fantastic. Actually, Brickman actually brought that up. It didn't make the actual cut of the 
the show, but he actually came over and said, it's a rare time on Lego Masters that I get to say geodesic dome. <laughs> <laughs> it's a tongue twister, all right? Absolutely. Now, um, guys, I actually have a, uh, a question from a viewer, um, a Jackson, not, not to be confused from the Jackson uh, on the show. Um, Jackson has actually asked, what are you guys now building at home? Have you got any creations in the works? Uh, yes, I do. I've, I've just started a stadium about halfway through. I'm sort of of uh, jugging up and down if I want to spend a thousand dollars more to sort of order it right now. <laughs> are, are we allowed to have a but look yeah. at it? Is, is it? Is yeah, it yeah, right? sure. <gasps> yeah, yeah. Oh, oh my god, how exciting! I'll take it over. Wow, I'm excited. A stadium, Bring half a stadium. Oh, oh yeah, half a stadium. Whoa. Oh my gosh, yeah, sort of it's huge. That's there's, a, there's a screen. As you see, I'm putting a screen out. in electronics. Wow, yeah, so. is, is that? Um, the Old Trafford Stadium, or is this a mock that you're building by yourself? No, this is just a mock. Oh, wow! A mock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, I, I've never done a, I've never done a stadium before, so I thought, why not try it? Incredible! <laughs> uh, will that be appearing in any upcoming conventions? Uh, I'd say so once they open up again. Yeah. Uh, maybe you know, was a convention. We'll hopefully get it down there. And Jay, how about you, good sir? What are you working on at the moment? Um, at the moment, I'm trying to recreate a fully articulated human hand. What? So, um, that is uh, so trying cool. To... Uh, this is a kid's show, so no rude signs, please. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go for more of a, like... Hey! <laughs> I love that. Uh, yes, yeah, so I was trying to... Uh, there's a few... I still have to uh, get some more parts for all the fingernails and a few things like that. But it all pretty much functions as a human hand would. Um, let's, um, see if, let's see if I can do a cross um, internet high five with your human hand. Here we go. Uh, 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 yay! <laughs> <That's amazing. laughs> I love that. Well, you should give yourself a pat on the back with that, Jay, because that is amazing. Uh, and both of you guys are amazing. <laughs> We've absolutely loved watching you over the last few weeks. And um, thank you so much for um, coming back to have a chat with us. Our viewers have absolutely Excellent. loved you both. And we can't wait to see where your next Lego adventure takes you both. Thanks thank so you. much, guys. Thanks so much, guys. Pleasure. Maddie and Jimmy.